Hi guys, Reviews for Yous here, back with another review for you. This is for the E-Tech City Electronic Kitchen Scale. It measures the, uh, not only weight, but it does uh, volume of water and milk as well. It uh, will explain grams, milliliters, pounds, ounces, uh, everything like that. As you can see, the picture here shows a bowl. I've got my bowl set off to the side here. Uh, quick turn of the box here. Um, it's Electronic Kitchen Scale. Uh, care and maintenance down there on the bottom and some of these things down the side here. It'll, it has a, a volume indication. Uh, it has a max weight of 5 kilograms or 11 pounds. It'll uh, do increments of 1 gram or 0.1 ounce. Uh, it has a 14 millimeter or just over half an inch, which is 0.55 of an inch for an LCD display. It is not backlit, just so you know, but it's still very easy to read. Uh, auto off feature after two minutes. Uh, it includes uh, one piece, uh, three volt CR2032 lithium battery, which is pre-installed in the base. You just have to pull out the plastic separator strip to make contact there so you can get using the scale. It has a low and an error indicators on the screen as well. Low for low battery and error is uh, for overload uh, of the scale. Like I said, it does have a 5 kilogram or 11 pound uh, maximum weight on it. Um, I couldn't myself foresee putting 11 pounds on a kitchen scale, but I guess you never know. Depends on what you're weighing. Uh, this is the scale here. Uh, as you can see, it's very small, very sleek. Uh, really nice design. Uh, just turn the scale on. You simply just push the button and it automatically zeroes itself out and it's ready to use. Uh, like I said, it does weight um, as well as milk and water. Right now, as you can see on the screen here, I'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, it's got fluid ounces there. Uh, it'll also do grams, milliliters, uh, and pounds. There's a button uh, up underneath the scale here. I'll just turn this over. Uh, this button right here will actually will actually change you from, as you can see, your grams to pounds, but it's also your milliliters uh, as you are uh, doing liquids and things like that. Simple little push of the button and your battery compartment there. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit limited on my movement, guys. Otherwise, I'd be, you know, picking the battery cover and stuff off, but I've, I'm casted up here, so I'm doing the best I can here for you guys. Uh, put that back down. Every time I move the scale or I put something new on the scale uh, prior to doing so, I like to just, you know, zero out uh, the scale uh, just to make sure it is zeroed out and ready to go. Now, I am in the water mode. I'm just going to quickly push the button here and go back to the weight. Uh, your first digit here is your pounds. Your second two, second and third digit uh, are your ounces. Uh, there's 16 ounces in a pound, that's why there's two. Uh, and then there's the point 0.1, which is your tenth of an ounce uh, measurement. Uh, I do happen to have a quarter pound block of margarine here. I'm going to put that on there. And it kind of toggled between the 4.0 and the 3.9 ounces, which is right because there's 16 ounces in a pound. Uh, so that works works very well as you can, it's very responsive as you can see out there. See, it's very close to the uh, quarter pound. Really nice. Uh, move that off to the side. This here is the bowl uh, that comes provided with it. Uh, I'm just going to set it sideways on the scale, the long way, because it is an oval style, just so you guys can still see the display. I don't know if you can yeah, you kind of can, but I'm going to hold it off to the side here for you guys. And as you can see, as I put that uh, tray on, it's actually showing... Sorry about that, I bumped the, the tripod. It's showing that it's 3.1 ounces, that scale. So every time you put something new on that you aren't actually including in your measurement, you want to zero out the scale. And you simply just press the on off, and it resets the scale back to zero. I'm going to take that quarter pound of margarine again, and I'm going to place it back inside. And as you can see, it's 3.9 ounces quarter of a pound. Uh, you can do liquids with this like I have mentioned before. Uh, actually I'll just remove the tray. As you can see it goes into the negative 3.1 ounces so you want to zero out your scale again and then you want to put your container on that you're going to measure your liquid in. As you can see that's a 0.3 ounce container. Once again you want to zero out the scale so that you're only weighing the fluid or the item that you're wanting to weigh. Now actually I'm going to do it on weight, and then I'm going to have to do this uh, on to milliliters here. I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see maybe a little bit better down there on the display. Uh, you can see how it says down there on the bottom, it's, it has your, uh, what says pounds and ounces right now. I've got 150 milliliters of water pre-measured out into this cup. Uh, I'm just going to put it in. You can see how sensitive it is as I'm pouring it there. You can see it... Uh, 
it going up quite responsive on the screen. Um, I don't know exactly know what ounces 150 mils is, but I guess it must be around 5.4, 5.5 ounces, I'm assuming. <laughs> but that's the weight of it. Now, if you press the mode button right here, you can see this line here, because right now I'm in the weight mode. You can see this line move over here to water. And it says that it's 5.4 fluid ounces. Now, if you need that in millimeters, um, you're going to obviously have to take... Uh, your water off the scale because the button to change that into millimeters if you need a certain amount of millimeters is on the bottom right here this button right here as I was saying before you simply just push it get this back down here for you guys and you can see the millimeters now there on the screen and because I had touched it whatever it's showing minus 11 millimeters I guess that's the case I'm just gonna zero it out I guess I could have waited till I put the container back on because it's there's the 11 millimeters I guess We'll zero it out and now you know that anything that goes into the container is what you're weighing say you need a certain specific amount of fluid um, in this case we'll just see if this 150 uh, it's actually slightly over 150 mils maybe the table where i poured the water in here was unlevel but uh, i'm going to add the water now and see if i can hit that 150 mils mark to see how accurate uh, it actually is looks like we're getting pretty close there looks like i had slightly over like I did say I was slightly over but as you can see it, it's an incredibly um, accurate scale uh, to a T uh, actually very handy uh, if you've got a lot of fluids that you're pouring into this scale that are splashy I would suggest uh, maybe even just taking uh, you know and putting this uh, this on and then of course zeroing it out again and then you know in case you're pouring fluids in that are splashy you don't want to get them all over the scale um, you simply just start the process over again and just keep in mind to zero out your scale. I don't know why it says 160, because uh, I didn't zero it out before I put the bucket on there. That's why I've got that extra 13 milliliters. See, it's a very accurate scale. As you guys can see, I didn't zero it out after I put that on, and it was reading the higher higher amount. So every time you add something like you keep saying that you are not including in your weight or your ounces or milliliters, zero it out before you add the product. Uh, or you'll get a reading like I did there. Try this again, pour the water back in and see if we can get back up to that 150, 52. Like, there you go. It's pretty much spot on to what it was before. That's how you do your water. Uh, you can also switch this and you can actually, I'm in milk mode now as you see there. Um, milk, I guess, is a little bit more dense, so it's, it's pre-calculated into the scale for the different densities uh, of whatever, you, like for milk or water. That way it, it reads it correctly correctly for you guys if you know you're getting milk ready for the baby or or for whatever reason you need a certain milliliters of milk for your smoothie or something um, which I'm actually gonna be having later for supper so yeah very nice uh, another thing I really like about the scale auto off uh, two minute feature after two minutes it'll automatically shut off for you you just simply hit the button uh, I zeroed it out and hit the button there and uh, shut her down. What I like about this is it's very compact. You can actually take this, this design so that your your top can actually go over top uh, of the scale itself, protect it from dust, anything like that. And as you can see, it's a it's a fairly low profile to stick up in your cupboard or whatever until uh, it's ready to use again. On the bottom, you've got four pads here, very grippy, holds it in place. It's a wonderful scale. It's the electronic kitchen scale from eTech City. It's model EK three. Five five zero. Uh, I didn't go over the instruction manual with you guys here, but I pretty much covered everything in my review. Uh, like I said here, it just goes over a lot of the features and how to go into the millimeter mode, ounces, and things like that. Lovely scale, lightweight, uh, very practical device to have in the kitchen. Uh, highly re recommended by reviews for use. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.